How's it going guys, it's Jack Bing here and today we are doing a bit of a throwback video guys. This is actually a video I recorded a couple of years ago um, on how to get GIFs, make them yourself and upload them so that you can use them on Instagram stories. And not only did I upload it a couple of years ago, I also just recorded it again but forgot to um, turn on my screen recorder. So this is the second time that I'm recording this video. So guys, leave a like on the video, subscribe. I'm gonna get in early because this video is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna show you um, how years and years of me making these gifts has taught me how to do it the fastest and best and easiest way. And uh, I'm actually gonna challenge myself in making the hardest GIF that I've ever had to make, as in lots of movement and lots of things happening um, in this video, just to show you how easy it really is. Now just before we start, we're gonna be using After Effects and Photoshop. So you might have to either, if you don't have those, you might have to see if you can get yourself a free trial um, or go to a friend's place that has them to be able to create these. That's what we're gonna be using for this video. Also, and step one is that you need to be a Giphy brand or artist account. So what that means is that Giphy actually recognizes your Giphy account. Um, that's where you're gonna be uploading the, the GIFs to. Uh, I'm saying GIF a lot at the moment. They need to recognize that you are actually a brand or an artist and basically verify your account to say that you're worthy to be uploading GIFs to Instagram. You're not just any old person doing it for fun, um, but if you are any old person doing it for fun, then you just need to convince them that you're a brand or an artist. So that's on you. I'm gonna put some links down below as to a couple of tips on how to actually um, fill out that application form and fill it out well so that you have your best chance of being able to be a Giphy brand or artist. Uh, that's the first step before we worry about doing any of this GIF making. Get that sorted out. You will have to make some GIFs for your channel. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun anyway. So let's jump into After Effects here where we're gonna start making this GIF. All right, so we're here, we're on After Effects. We're gonna do a new composition. Um, we're gonna do it 1080 by 1080, but that's gonna change in a little bit, so just bear with me on that. Um, and I've already got the duration down here set to five seconds, which is actually more than what we're gonna need. The GIF in the end is gonna be less than two seconds probably, because you really just wanna bring that right down. So let's click OK. Let's get this started. And I guess actually going back a step, you do have to know what you want your GIF to be. So in this case, it's going to be a person. We're gonna have like a dance one that's happening. Um, so I've actually gone and filmed on my camera um, as a full video, um, this person, a friend of mine, Jess, doing a dance. And it actually really helps. In fact, it's basically vital to have a green background because that's gonna allow you to make that background disappear. And uh, it's just gonna make it better. It's gonna make it so much faster if you can film it on green backgrounds. You can buy green screens, very cheap. Or even if you just go and buy some green cardboard from your local news agent or whatever. Uh, I've done that before as well and it actually does work. So get yourself a green background, film you know, whatever you want the movement to be of the GIF. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag this in right here into the timeline and this is the video here. So I'm just gonna square it up a little bit and you can watch this, we'll just play this out. There it is, so that's the dance, that's what the GIF is gonna be. And now if I stop that, we are going to first of all crop it down because we don't need a lot of that. We're actually gonna crop it right back here um, until she actually is doing the dance. Hands are up like that. And we'll crop it all the way back to there just by dragging the end in here like this. Drag that right back there. And then same thing at the other end. There you go, not too bad. It pretty, it kind of like loops a little bit. It doesn't have to loop perfectly or anything like that, but you know, it gives you that kind of dance thing. I actually might even take a little bit more off the start, um, just to make that loop even a little bit better, I think. So that's it, I'm happy with how that looks. I'm stoked with how that looks actually. And now what I'm gonna do is go over here to the effects and presets. And I've already done it, but if you just type in key like this, then you'll get the effect that's called key light. Um, 1.2 and I'm just going to drag it straight over right on top of this here and you'll be able to see that this is the effect controls over here. What we need to do with this is all we're actually doing is selecting the color that we're trying to key out which makes which means disappear. So we're going to use a little eyedropper and I'm just going to click right in the middle of all this green stuff right here 
bang, just like that. And the background is officially gone. Now the next step as well, this is really important, is that you click this little checkerboard down here because that makes the white background into a transparent background. Great, so that looks great. I'm stoked with that as a GIF. Um, you can see that there's no kind of green left in there. There might be some other little bits and pieces, but in general, that's actually worked out really good. Now, I'll come back to the composition here and watch it. I did make it square. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but I made it 1080 by 1080. Um, and that just means it's, it's a nice square size, which is good for GIFs. Um, you don't really want a wide GIF. If you think about what the GIFs already are on Instagram, then it's that's kind of what you're trying to recreate. They don't look like a box with a background and a moving image like they do on the internet sometimes. They're always like a floating kind of sticker without a background. So I'm really stoked with that. I'm going to file, export, and send that to the render queue. And now this is really important. You need to have this output module setting here to for the channels here, make it RGB plus alpha. Now, this might look a little bit different if you're on a PC or if you're on a Mac. This is a Mac for me. Um, so I think you can just leave everything else and just make it RGB plus alpha. Click OK. And that's the custom QuickTime settings that we need. I'm just going to change the name of it to Just Dance. I've already done it because I already did this video. And click Render. And it'll be done. All right, we're done with After Effects now. You can get out of that and you can bring up Photoshop. And I'm literally just gonna drag in the video that I just made straight into Photoshop. And this is what we get right here. I'm not sure whether or not you guys know, but you can actually edit videos in Photoshop. It's really weird and you do end up with a timeline down here, which is great because if you wanna further crop and change things, you actually can. Um, but in this case, we're not going to. We're actually only using Photoshop so that we can then export it and file export for web um, as a GIF. Photoshop is just really great at taking a video and exporting it as a GIF. So once this pops up, so now we've got the kind of export settings. Um, these are the ones that are important. GIF up the top here, we wanna definitely be exporting it as a GIF. Um, we want transparency ticked so that that background stays transparent. Now image size here, I'm actually gonna change it to 480 by 480. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because when you upload to Giphy, regardless, they're going to make it 480 by 480 as a maximum size, and they're also going to compress it down to two megabytes. So keeping it as big as you can, but within those parameters, I believe is the best way to keep the quality as high as you can keep it. Make sure the looping option is forever so that it keeps on looping. Otherwise, your GIF will loop once and then stop, and that will be really boring. And then I'm gonna click Save, and that's now saved onto my desktop. All right, now that I've got it saved as a GIF, all I'm gonna do is upload it to my Giphy account, um, which is a verified account, and that means that whatever I upload onto it, as long as it's got the right ratings and stuff, it actually will be all good to use um, for Instagram, for Instagram stories, and also just in general on the internet, you can search in, in kind of lots of different places and you'll find it. So I just uploaded it, here it is, you can see it, and um, you can see all these little white dots around it. Now, don't worry about those because in Giphy's compression, they will actually get rid of those. So you can leave those, you need to rate it G or it won't be appropriate for Instagram. And this is obviously G because it's completely appropriate for any audience. And then you can enter your tags. And these are the kind of things that people are gonna search on Instagram to find it. So you might want to put in like dance, fun, funny, I don't know, happy. You know, the things that you would want to search if you were making an Instagram story and you wanted to use these. So I'll add a few more and then we'll click upload. All right, so there it is, there's our GIF. Um, I'm stoked on that and that is it done. It's uploaded. Um, for me, it takes about 24 to 48 hours to be there. Um, for other people, I've heard it can take up to a week. I think especially if it's your first one, it could take a while. So be patient 
and weight. And yeah, hopefully you guys worked out how to do it and um, you guys have some success stories. And when you do, um, drop them down in the comments and let me know that you've managed to successfully do it. That would be so awesome for me. I'd love to see that and hear it. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully that helped. Uh, I think I said this at the start, but I'll put a couple of links down below on how to, a couple of tips on how to get that brand, um, that brand account or that artist account with Giphy. Um, that'll help you out a lot with the application form. Um, but yeah, you guys have got this, I believe. Make awesome gifts. And uh, yeah, guys, if that helped, leave a like on the video. That helps me out so much. If you made it this far, hopefully you want other people to find this video. So if you leave a like, that helps me. Um, subscribe to the channel for more of this kind of stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.